well the message has been spread as much as we can to the, our Canada and that is our giving back to the community in the Canada. You know? And thanks to Swamiji on our behalf. As the aim of the yoga practice is to overcome all kinds of sufferings that lead to a sense of freedom in every walk of life. It's not, as the uh, Counselor General said, it's not only for Indian, but it's for the whole uh, human being, humankind. And that, I think, uh, uh, once uh, this has been made official from the UN, uh, United Nations, so it will, it will more further spread the benefit of the world, not only to India, but throughout the world. So benefits will be tremendous. And there are numerous benefits that I can list on, keep on going. But uh, to give you a few of the things, you know, uh, in a nutshell, yoga uh, gives you a fit body and yoga gives you a fit mind. So if these two things are fit, you will be fit in overall, you know. So that's a great thing. And uh, after that, it calms the mind, it heals the heart, and it, it energizes the whole body. And ultimately, that will lead to your peaceful soul. So that's a wonderful benefit that gives you, and uh, definitely connecting the people together like we gave the example, we are connecting together, is strengthening the, uh, the, the bonds of humanity uh, to bring harmony, happiness, and peace to all mankind on the earth. You know? And again, as I will say, that it is well known, the, the benefits of uh, yoga helps in disease prevention, it uh, promotion of the health management, and many lifestyle related disorders are controlled by yoga. So remember, lastly I'll say, yoga is a continuous journey. It's a continuous journey, remember this. It's not a one day thing, it's not a one month thing. It's a continuous journey to your final destination. And yoga is a celebration, what we are going to celebrate and a perfect name, Celebration Square. We are doing the Celebration Square with celebration of yoga that you need to feel and love and stretch your awareness guys, stretch your awareness with yoga and its benefits. Yeah. Thank you very much uh, Dr. Alaji. You can sense that there's a lot of enthusiasm uh, on this initiative, whether it's coming from the government of India or us uh, Canadians of Asian background and uh, you know, from various different organizations, it's truly terrific. Um, so one of the other organizations uh, that, uh, partners, uh, that has partnered with us, we are so thrilled to have them on board as well as The Art of Living. And uh, before we I invite The Art of Living, uh, Mr. Fadej Chumanji up, uh, you know, Dr. Bhala talked about stretching and stuff, so I'm going to invite Uma Bhala to get everybody doing some stretching. So uh, if I can please invite Uma Ji, uh, and she's going to get a little, you know, a few of you doing some stretching. Uma Ji? I thought you were to do <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be just doing a stretching, stretching. I think we should stand. I'm not going to be able to stand. Yeah, just stand. Yeah. Yeah, just stand. Why not? Yes, yes, yes. So raise your hand over your head. And I think you can balance on your tippy toes. Deep breathing in. And breathe out. Breathing in. And we out. We're not going to do some salutation because we're not. <laughs> and one will do a little bit feet apart. And we'll just look over your back. This is excellent for your back problem. And right. Breathing is very important. Breathing in and breathe out. Breathing in and breathe out. Couple of, couple of, one more, that's it. Just my feet because I'm, yeah. That's it. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. I know how much she had her way, you'd be doing 20 more minutes of this and then before you go in a suit, it doesn't seem so comfortable. <laughs> but thank you very much, Omaji. You know, Omaji is uh, an amazing yoga instructor and, you know, God bless these people. They do it for absolutely free. And anytime you want to do a yoga session, you know, they, they'll get people together and you can go to the house or come to your house. They're just absolutely terrific. And as is the art of living as well, I have the opportunity to go to their center, one of their many centers. And I was so impressed with the knowledge 
that they uh, that they um, they exude that they give out. I think it's actually terrific. Again, it goes to healthy living, right? And uh, whether it's mental or physical. So on that note, I'm going to invite Mr. Fadeh Chuhanji. And you thought you were just coming to a normal press conference. You didn't think you'll be doing yoga, but I am going to ask Fadeh Chuhanji to come up here and talk a little bit about. Uh, his organization, their engagement, and then I want you also to do something uh, with your Mr. Fadeh Chuhan. We go to the same part. Yeah, we, <clears throat> our hair growth has strategy has been very successful. <laughs> it's the, the economy of uh, the economy that we bring to the forefront is totally. Uh, Duplicated will talk it for anybody. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah, so there has been a lot of conversation about uh, yoga and physical benefits and integration of uh, mind and body. But if you look at our examples today in the society, what it is really that the cause of about 95% of the disease, who can guess? Stress. 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 So stress has been identified as a source of 95% of physical ailments. That means if stress is the cause,